Hey everyone, in today's video I will explain what is Silhouette Score and how to use it in practice. The Silhouette Score is used when you are performing clustering analysis such as k-means clustering, hierarchical clustering or any other clustering algorithm. It helps you to choose the optimal number of clusters by calculating the silhouette score for different values of k and selecting the k that maximizes the score. You can find the number of clusters that provide the best separation and cohesion among data points. It also helps you to evaluate the quality of clustering after performing clustering, you can use a silhouette score to assess the quality of the clustering result. A higher silhouette score indicates that the clusters are well separated and that data points within each cluster are more similar to each other than the points in other clusters. Conversely, a lower silhouette score suggests that the clustering may not be appropriate or that the data may have overlapping clusters. Another advantage is comparing different clustering algorithms. You can use the silhouette score to compare the performance of different clustering algorithms or different parameter settings for the same algorithm. This helps you identify which algorithm or configuration yields better defined clusters for your dataset. Number four, Detecting the presence of overlapping clusters. A silhouette score close to zero can indicate the presence of overlapping clusters. If you encounter a low silhouette score, it may be a sign that your data has complex patterns or that your clustering algorithm is not suitable for the data. And number five, monitoring clustering stability. Silhouette score can also be used to assess the stability of clusters over time or across different subsets of your data. If the silhouette score remains consistent under different conditions, it suggests that the clustering is robust. So now let's see uh, the silhouette score definition. Let's start with A. A value is the mean distance from data point I to all other data points in the same cluster. B value is the smallest mean distance from data point I to all data points in a different cluster. In other words, find the nearest neighboring cluster for each data point. The silhouette score for a data point I is then defined as BI minus AI divided by the max value of AI and BI. The silhouette score is ranges from minus 1 to 1, where a high value indicates that the object is well matched to its own cluster and poorly matched to neighboring clusters. A silhouette score close to 0 indicates overlapping clusters. The overall silhouette score for a clustering result is the mean of the silhouette scores of all data points in the dataset. This gives us uh, an overall measure of the quality of the clustering, while n is the total number of data points. Now let's see how we can use this metric in practice using Python libraries. So first we want to import the relevant libraries. We need make blobs from sklearn dataset, k-means from sklearn cluster, silhouette score and silhouette samples from sklearn metrics, plot from matplotlib, and numpy. Now we use the make blobs function to generate some data. So we want 300 samples with two features and we want them to be separated into four centers. Now we want to find the optimal number of clusters. So we are going to loop through different values of K and calculate silhouette score for each one of them. That will help us choose the best K for our dataset. So let's start. We are going to try it for K values from two to five. For each one, we are going to plot the silhouette score. So we initial a new plot and set the size to uh, six by three. Now we initial 
uh, k means with the current number of clusters, then we fit the model and predict the results. Then we calculate the overall silhouette score for this model given x and predicted clusters. And we add this score to silhouette scores list. So later on, we will be able to compare models. Next, we calculate the silhouette scores for each data point using the silhouette samples function. Now we go over each cluster and aggregate the silhouette scores for samples belonging to this cluster. So in the first line, we just take the scores that their cluster label equals to i, and then we sort this list. Now in this line, we take the number of samples that belong to this cluster that will represent the cluster size. And then we add to the cluster size the y lower value to get the y upper. We set a color and then we just fill the color in the figure from y lower to y upper in the length of the cluster silhouette values. Then we just label the silhouette plots with their cluster numbers at the middle. So size cluster i multiplied by 0 0.5 gives us the middle plus y lower. And there we put y, which is the cluster number. All right, now we update the new y lower for the next cluster by y upper plus 10, just to make some space between the clusters. After we're done with this inner loop, we plot the silhouette scores view for this model. So we set a title and, and X label as the silhouette coefficient values and Y label as the cluster label. Then we add a vertical line for average silhouette score of all the values in red. We clear Y axis labels and add X exist labels in the range of minus 0 0.1 to 1. And that's it. Now let's see the plots. So for two cluster, we get silhouette score average of 0 0.59. And you can see here that all sc scores of each data point is shown here along with the average in the red line, you can see that the main problem is with the second cluster, which is very sparse with a very low silhouette scores for each point. So next we can see the view for the model with three clusters with average score of 0 0.75. You can see an improvement here, but still the second cluster is a little sparse. And now let's see the model with four clusters. We could see a real progress with higher average score and the clusters well separated, a higher average silhouette score and well separated clusters indicate a better choice of K. Now we also have a plot for uh, five clusters, uh, but you can see that it's not getting any better and that there is a little bit of degradation here. So the obvious choice here will be four clusters. So now let's see it from another point of view. So to get all the scores in one view and get a decision on which model is the best, you could print all the silhouette scores averages on one line plot. When Y axis represents the silhouette scores average and X axis represents the number of clusters. You can see that four clusters gives us the higher average score so we can pick this option for our model. Now, remember that while the silhouette score is a useful metric for evaluating clustering results, it should not be used alone. It is often a good practice to use it with domain specific knowledge and visual inspection of the clusters to ensure that the chosen number of clusters and the clustering algorithm align with the underlying structure of your data. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.